to my mad science science experiment. Today we're going to do the balloon and crazy hair and I don't know what you want to call this experiment. I'm going to call it the balloon experiment. But anyways, um, there's not very much that you need. You're going to need some balloons and you're going to need some paper, little pieces of paper. And what I've done today is I've actually chose two different kinds of paper. This is construction paper and then this is just a paper towel. And I want to compare what happens um, with the balloon interacting with the two different kinds of papers. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've blown a balloon. That's the first thing that you need to do. And now I'm going to go ahead and get out my paper. And like all scientists do is they really make predictions before they start anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some paper out here. And then I'm gonna use this balloon, take my mad science glasses off. I'm going to use this balloon and I'm going to rub it on my hair. Okay, so here's where the prediction part comes in. After I rub my hair, so let me see if I can rub this. If you have somebody else that you can use their head, that is way better. Woo, what's happening to my hair? Anyways, okay, so now I want to make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen when I put the balloon next to the paper? <laughs> I hope you made a prediction pretty quick because look what's happening. The paper is starting to stick to the balloon. Now, I wonder what's going to happen if I try the paper towels. Do you think that the paper towels will... Um, stick to the balloon or not. Do you think they'll stick to the balloon more easily? Oh, I can't even peel those off. Let me see. Whoa. Crazy. Now I think that my, whoa, look what's happening there. I think I actually would probably need to rub this on my head again or somebody else's head, but it does stick to the balloon. And so as a scientist, you want to be thinking about what's causing that to happen. Why does that happen? Why is it sticking to my balloon? And then look, if I try to pull these off, look what's happening when I try to get them off. They're just kind of going back. Now it's even sticking to my finger. Oh, this is crazy. So this is definitely an experiment that you could try at home. All right, so I'm gonna try something a little different with this experiment now. What I've done is I went ahead and got a new balloon and then I have a paper towel with some pepper spread on it. And what I wanna know as a scientist, you wanna try different things with your experiment. You wanna see if you get the same results if you, if you try something different. So I'm gonna see if I have the same results using pepper as I did with the paper and the paper towel. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub my hair and see what happens. Okay, need to get lots of static going and I think there we go. All right, so let's see if it works. Oh, uh, can you see what's happening? So really cool, it's really fun to play around with science. And this is a really easy science experiment to do. So I hope you enjoy this. If you like to try it at home, that would be really fun. And if you wanna check out my YouTube channel for other science experiments, that would be great also. So thanks for visiting, bye.